Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are going wand curls. It is going to be a start to finish unboxing straight out of the box install. Very much for the beginner friendly girl. We're going to pre-pluck the hairline a little bit. You guys know I am a baby hair girl. So it is tempting to go ahead and pull a couple strands pieces i already got the the rat tail comb right here i want to pull a couple pieces for it and make a little bit of baby hair but this one is for the girlies who don't like baby hair i wanted to do something nice for you guys this one does come courtesy of amanda hair and it sent over this beautiful highlight brown beauty she had a beautiful texture to her straight out of the box and instead of wetting her down and doing the traditional things that i like to do i went ahead and used a very tiny barrel curling iron and hooked her up and i love the way it came out also, it was important to me to do no parting on this one just because I love the vibe. It made big hair and as you guys can see, I've already been playing with it on this side. So it's getting big. This side is a, still a little bit more defined. So I'm going to play with it off camera, but I wanted to show you guys what we're working with today. Love the dark root, love the brown highlight, just love everything about this one. I'm going to have her in the description box if you're interested. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, ladies, jumping right into it. Let's go ahead and tint our wig cap. We want to make sure that the lace is flawless. And one way we do that is by making sure that the wig cap blends with our complexion. Here is the beauty here. She is a highlight blonde 13 by 4 lace wig. This is a water wave texture, 250% density. And we went big, so we went 26 inches in length. I'm jumping right into the install process. I wanted to make sure that I gave you girls a little bit of tea on how to install her for beginners. So step one for me was just to cut the excess lace around the ears this is something that you cannot forget to do your wig is not supposed to overlap your ears also i showed you guys the parting space as i did mention this is four inches of parting space going backwards as well as 13 inches going from ear to ear which is why we customized it around the ear because not everyone's ear is 13 from ear to ear if that makes any sense here I am customizing the wig. I did have a little clip of me um, customizing it or plucking it before I even started. I did it in my lap, so my lap, so it was kind of like a janky angle. So we're not gonna include that because I don't want you guys to see my goods. But here I am just plucking it a little bit more. I always recommend that even when I don't, I recommend that you always customize your wig to your own liking. Now that we're done with that, um, I do want to mention that the wig did come pre-plucked. I just wanted to add a little bit of extra finesse because we are going with a no parting look today. Then I went ahead and bonded her down with that even glue. This is going to be a glueless install. So the even is more so to melt it down, but by the end of the night, it will lift and you can just take it right off with a little H2O. Here I am just adding a little bit of serum to the hair. I decided to go with micro wand curls. I don't know if that even is what it is called, but this is one of those like pencil style wand curlers. And I'm just going to take smaller sections and just really go in and define the curls. As I did mention, this is a Water Wave HD lace wig. So you don't have to do this. You can definitely wet it down, add your mousse or a cream product, you know, go in with the dimming brush and let the product dry. I just want to give you guys a little bit more variety. I'm so used to wetting it and adding mousse and adding conditioner. I really want to give you a lot more like heat styles, hot styles, because it's not something that I do often on this channel and i think these came out really good in fact i don't think you guys have seen me use this wand curler in a while and i've had it for years so what i will say is that this step is definitely a little bit more time consuming but it's definitely easy and beginner friendly i did not use any hairspray only thing i used was that um serum and you guys already know if you're an og that's my mom's favorite serum from decades ago there are so many new and even better uh serums to or on the market but this is still one of my favorites i guess because it's nostalgia of like remembering my mom and like something that she used often i did work in sections so i did that first section you guys seen the first few i did and then i did the rest off camera and then i did the opposite side like the back half now i'm going to go ahead and remove the melt belt the melt belt was there just allowing the wig to continue to dry since we did add that even product now that the lace is melted down we can go ahead and cut off the excess lace the reason i'm pausing from the curls is because i'm about to work on that top layer and because i'm not doing a baby hair look and i'm also uh, not doing a parting nothing is stamped out in the front so i want to make sure that it's super sleek before we go ahead and curl it because i don't want to have to move anything around once the curls are done because then you'll have to just like redo them so basically i just went ahead and cut the excess lace added a little bit more product so that it can continue to melt 
then i'm going to go in and finish that last portion of curls if you've seen me do the curls once you've seen me do it a million times so i did go ahead and like speed through it and did a few of them off camera but as you guys can see here i'm just really just curling them as close to the front as possible i really want the height and definition to like help with that little flip over method situation adding a little heat where i see fit and now that it's dried and of course it was like stuck to my head so it did hurt a little bit but that's my own fault for allowing it to dry with the wax and the even that little contact contact or cocktail will definitely like add a little ick the curls that i provided were absolutely beautiful i'm going to melt the lace by adding a little bit of a foundation powder to the hairline this is going to help everything to blend um you can do baby hair you can do whatever you like again i did no parting but since this little piece was peeking through i went ahead and added a little lace tint just to give it an extra good effect now i'm just gonna play with it it's absolutely beautiful and we added makeup and we are good to go okay so i just went ahead and took some photos i kind of fluffed the hair out but because i want it to last i don't want to pull it apart too much i think you guys get the picture of where i'm going with it i did offer no baby hair even though i am itching 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 to add my baby hair now it's going to get a little bit fluffy like you guys can see here i'm not too worried or concerned about that i kind of want it to be big uh this side is a little bit more defined as far as like I haven't pulled the curls apart where it's this side I've kind of like teased and played with it and I love that for me again for like the hundredth time want to add baby hair but I'm going to chill this one does come from Amanda Amanda hair you guys already know I do um, I have worked with this company before um, they have this beautiful I want to say it's like a soft like gray tone blue baby blue or maybe like a blue tone gray color with the baby pink it just gives super beautiful pastel baby vibes and inside this is just a little bit of like language on the customer or on the company you can get cash back and then also like their um, social media handles i'll have the their handles on the in the description box as well also a pack of wig caps and then i think there was a melt belt yeah a melt belt that says Amanda hair as well as an adjustable elastic band. Now, if you're not binding your wig down, you could definitely use the elastic band to make your hair or your wig have a little bit more support. Also, if you have a really, really tiny head, I know some people just have an extremely small shaped head. No matter what size wig they get, it's still going to be tiny. The elastic band also helps with that if that is your issue. This one here is absolutely gorgeous and I love, love, love the curl pattern. I love the curl pattern straight out of the box and typically I am one who would mousse it down, wet it, add product but i've been trying to get a little bit more into the hot tool situation it definitely takes a lot more patience especially because i use such a thin or small barrel this one i believe i got on amazon um and it's one of those ones if i'm not mistaken maybe this is not it i thought this was one of the ones that um you can take it apart and it comes with multiple barrels. I do have one of those too, but this one actually came like this one. And this one is like really, really tiny, but it is gradient. So when you put your um, piece of hair on it, especially with a longer length like this, you have to go with a thinner piece of hair if you really want it to be defined um, because when you have a longer length like this, it'll wrap up very, very, very quickly, especially like if you don't start way up top and I'm burning myself. Um, so when you get down here, um, you are out of space of hot tool, but you also equally still have like more hair that needs to be wound. And then you end up winding it upwards, which kind of messes up the curl. If you want messy curls, you can get away with it. I did it for a couple of these, but just a rule of thumb, the smaller the piece, the better and more efficient the look will be. But again, it's also time consuming. So I recommend if you are someone who is impatient or just, you know, don't want to have your hands up in your in the air for um, a said period amount of time, I highly recommend that you go in and do this step um, like curling the hair on a mannequin head before you bond the wig down. That way you can take breaks and just your hands are in a more comfortable position. Um, but if you're a gangster, if you're a rider, if you're a G like me, you can do it on your head. Just have patience because the kids have come and asked me a million and one questions. Open the pantry, give me a snack. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys see everything here was pretty much self-explanatory. Love the way the lace melted. I did go ahead and customize the hairline a little bit more than what they provided, although it was pre-plucked very well um 
and yeah direct link to this wigs in the description box color is awesome highlights are on point thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around this far in the video subscribe if you haven't and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches